What's going on everybody? It's Orak here and I'm back at you with another video for Ming Tech Media. And in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing a very little talked about career path that you can get into in tech, that you can just get your foot in the door, break into very easily, and it can take you anywhere from three to six months, depending on how much technical background you might have in like math and statistics already. And no, it's not programming, it's not cybersecurity, it's not some cloud or practitioner or architect. I'm talking about data analytics and being a data analyst. Now stick around to the end of the video and I'll give you bonus tips about how to get a data analyst job quickly and how to shorten your search with these tips that can help you out while you're applying for jobs and while you're just learning in general. Okay, so what is a data analyst? And a data analyst really is under that umbrella of data science. And under that umbrella, you have a data analyst, you have a BI analyst, you have a data architect, and you have a data engineer. Now we're gonna be talking about a data analyst in this video. Now data analysts are the ones responsible for gathering data, structuring databases, creating and running models, and preparing advanced analysis to explain patterns discovered in data. They're the ones that overlook the basic parts of the predictive analytics models as well. They're also responsible for extracting data, analyzing it, and making data-driven insights to the data that an organization works with. They work with an organization's structured data, and a lot of what they do is centered around creating reports, dashboards, and other visualizations using data pertaining to customers, business processes, market economics and trends, and they provide insight to stakeholders, senior management and business leaders that help them make decisions regarding the business. The type of data they work with can vary and range from anything from inventory to logistics and transportation costs, revenue and profits, customer engagement and social media platforms, sales numbers, profit and margin, um, and a bunch of other metrics that a company might use to make business decisions. Although I did mention you can teach yourself everything you need to know for little to nothing within three to six months, having any technical background in something like math, economics, computer science, um, mechanical engineering, or anything STEM related does help your cause for being able to learn these things a lot quicker because there's some certain classes you might have already taken like statistics in the case of like economics or math and maybe something like calc one and two that helps you be a little bit more like analytical and be able to problem solve a lot quicker all right so what type of skills do you need to become a data analyst where well, there are several skills soft technical and practical skills and i'll start to list them out now since you'll be interacting with a lot of people, you need to have very good communication skills and you need to know how to work on a team as well. You also need to know how to explain very technical concepts to non-technical people. As far as practical skills, you'll need to be able to have problem solving and critical thinking skills. You'll need to be able to quality check your work. You need to be able to understand how to offer your opinion and offer valued opinion. You need to complete projects with very little to no supervision at all. You need to offer clear communication of results. You also need analytical skills to be able to interpret data. Now, as far as technical skills, you need a very good programming language for analyzing large data sets and running statistical type functions and other things related to big data. And the two languages of choice are either R or Python. You also need to know SQL and how relational database management systems work. You need to know Tabulo, which is a tool for working with large data sets. It's an excellent tool that a lot of data analysts use, so you absolutely need to know how to use that as well. Also, you need to be advanced in Excel that includes analytic functions and formulas. You also need a very good understanding, or at the very least, a basic understanding of statistics and how to use statistical packages. That's very vital. Now, as far as salaries are concerned, someone with no experience that's entering an entry level position can expect a salary from anywhere between $45,000 to $65,000 as per the average annual salary in the United States. Someone with a year to three years experience can expect anywhere between $70,000 and $105,000 a year. 
and someone with four to seven plus years of experience can expect a salary range from $125,000 on the low end to $250,000 plus on the high end. Now, I promise to give you tips at the end of the video, so here they are. Here are my top tips for getting a data analyst job faster. The first tip is you should be building a portfolio and some projects. And ideally, you want to work on projects that show the prowess and your skill set that you have. You want to have better quality projects versus a large quantity of projects, right? Try and do as many high quality projects that you can that display the breadth of your skill. You also need to create a good data analyst resume. So if you have no experience, put all your skills that you've learned in data analytics towards the top of your resume and right under that, put your projects. What that's going to do is when someone sees your resume, they're going to see the relevant skills that you have that are pertinent to a position. And then right under that, they're going to continue their interest by looking at some projects that you've done and hopefully pass your your resume on to like a hiring manager. Or if that's the hiring manager or someone in control of hiring, they'll give you a call and maybe schedule some sort of interview. The next tip is a huge tip that you must follow. And it's literally something that just gets me job requests every day. Like I, I wake up to at least a four or five every day and that's optimizing your LinkedIn. And I mean everything from creating headshots to getting endorsements and recommendations, adding your resume and even making sure like things are just very, very neatly arranged and explained on your LinkedIn. There's so many courses and there's so many things you can do um, that can help you optimize your LinkedIn. Taking a professional headshot is not hard. You can do it on your smartphone and there's a lot of videos on YouTube that guide you through this. I'll link that in the description. There's also courses on LinkedIn that will that will guide you how to optimize your LinkedIn profile. I'll link that in the description as well. The next one is huge because it's a more personal sort of way and it can help you get a job like that, like really, really quick. And that's utilizing recruiters and your network. Now, a recruiters whole job is to advocate for you and to help you get a job because they get paid by placing you in like a role that they're trying to source and recruiters they work with you and they work on your skill level and a lot of them do actually try and source for junior and entry level jobs in data analytics it's a really really hot market right now and a lot of recruiters i even get emails sometimes from recruiters asking me if i know any data analyst that might be interested in this particular position that they sent me so utilize recruiters they're a huge resource also just network with people Talk to people that you know that are at startups that are maybe already a data analyst or anyone else in your network that's in tech, um, someone that you meet at a tech conference, someone that you meet on Twitter or LinkedIn or virtually. And you'd be surprised. Just tap into it and ask a few questions. A lot of people are very willing to help. The next one is an obvious one, but it's one that I'm going to emphasize here, and that's preparing for interviews. There's a lot of YouTube courses. There's a lot of Udemy courses, Udacity, and a lot of other courses in general on different course websites. And I'll link them be below, but I'm trying to do this in a way where you don't spend money. So a lot of the resources that I'm going to provide below are going to be YouTube. So I'm going to link pages in the description that help you um, just curate your studying and just help you optimize your studying and prepare for interviews as well. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. I'll try and be pumping out more content like this for you so you can get valuable insight as well as just direction tips and any other things that I feel are valuable for you to have. Um, coming into tech, I like making these videos to help newcomers and newbies because like I said, uh, a lot of things I was just very unaware of because the information either I, it was hard to find or I just didn't know of it. So I'm trying to just give you as much value as possible uh, with these videos. Anyway, I'll see you later. Take care.